truckers because they like being by themselves. Not everybody, but a lot of truckers enjoy their alone time. And for me, it's just like, it, it was too tight. We had a really good time, but at the same time, once I got back on my own truck, I'm like, damn, I needed that. I didn't even realize I needed that. So. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. What the f happened to you, man? <laughs> How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. It's going good. Let me uh let me rap let me let me rap with you right quick uh uh on the podcast about the about the uh about what you've been getting in your DMs and all like that. I think we touched on that you before. Said let you do what? I, I said let's talk about uh let's talk about the 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 random truckers that's coming at you at in your DMs. The the team dry. You said let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Naya, <laughs> new back in the building. Yes, <laughs> So I came across your I came across your IG. Very, very right. inter very interesting post. Um so Look. team driving, right? You 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 not right. you you're not feeling that. Like, I mean, even nah. e even if you 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 had a buddy or a boyfriend or anything of that matter, you still wouldn't team drive, right? Nah, that's a no for me. There would have to be some real special circumstances, which none that I can think of on the top of my head. But yeah, it's a no. So what? So so what's going on, Naya? What's what's all these rant? And these is the, like random dudes that come across your IG, and I, I I know what kind of dudes they are. You know, we this the third this the thirst trapping. You know what I'm saying? They see a beautiful female and all like that, and all they can think of instead of just making money or whatever, they want you to be they want you to be their teammate so they can have some soft legs on the truck. What's up with these? What's up? With I these, guess so. What's up with these random dudes? that's coming in how many are there um i don't i won't say it's like enough maybe about five or six i think so far i've had some people it's either truckers or it's even just random people who aren't truckers it's like oh let me ride with you on the truck like <laughs> and do what what are you gonna do with the truck you ain't even got a cdl but it's been about five or six random like truckers i don't know <laughs> but I, I, you can't really ask me what that's about because I ain't them. You don't have to track them down and ask them what that's about. But I don't know why you would just see a random uh, stranger and want to team drive with them. <laughs> what, what what are some? You say about five or six. What are some of the what are some of the interesting uh, messages that you got? Um. So well, my message it gets weird sometimes. You know, in the inbox, and some people are very respectful. It's just kind of like. You know, just the basic, hey, how are you type stuff. I think it gets really weird when you realize, I try not to be rude, but if I get weird vibes, I'm not going to respond. So, like, or if you're just saying, hey, beautiful, and you're not saying nothing with it, like, it's like, okay. Like, I'm not responding. So, the ones who just keep on, hey, beautiful, you're my wife. In my life, in my mind, like it just gets weird. Like I never respond, but they just keep talking, keep talking to me. That's always strange. That's just weird to me. Like obviously, I'm not saying nothing back. And then of course, like, hey, can I ride on a truck with you? And you want a team truck? We can get this money and travel the world and see the world. I'm like, you know, <laughs> I, I I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> So you I, I just think it's weird that they think like, has anyone ever said yes to you? Like, uh, they just say, yeah, you know what, you a stranger, let's team drive. I wonder if it's ever worked for them, but I guess they. I mean, hey, shoot your shot, see what happens. I guess. Uh, you know, right? You know, I I can understand, you know, coming from other truck drivers, but I I just think, you know, a lot of these truck drivers that see a beautiful woman, they try to shoot their shot, they try to turn around and say, hey, let's team drive, but it's not always the case because it always, for some odd reason. For some odd reason, it always go left. It really do. It it always go left. Be like, yeah, I met this young lady off the Instagram or off the or off the TikTok and all like that. We get in there, we team drive, and it didn't work out. Why it didn't work out? It just didn't work out. 
because it just didn't work out. It, no, oh, okay, just so we we going with that, right? Yeah, it just didn't work out. Like, oh, okay. Well, what you going? I mean, do? well, I changed before with my ex. And that's kind of what gave me the for sure to the surety to know that I don't want to do it again. <laughs> like it was cool, but it's just you know the truck is a really small space, and you know a lot of people become truckers because they like being by themselves. Not everybody, but a lot of truckers enjoy their alone time. And for me, it's just like it, it was too tight. We had a really good time, but at the same time, once I got back on my own truck. I'm like, damn, I needed that. I didn't even realize I needed that. So it's just like, no. So even with me being with that person and saying I don't want to do it for a random person, like, and some people, it's not even an introduction. It's just a simple, less team drive. Okay, how about, hey, I'm this, I do this. You know, how about you explain? So, so, you know, Intr introduce yourself. Introduce yourself, right? right? You're just going to jump straight to that? You already giving me creeper vibes. Like, I wouldn't do it anyway, but I for damn sure wouldn't do it now. Like, come on. Right, right. Just come in, introduce yourself. Hey, my name's such and such and such and such. I, I, I like your vibe. I like what you, you know, I like. They can only like what they see. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's, it's not Enjoy like me. it's it's not like you saying, "Oh, well, I I like you as a person because you don't know me. You only seeing what exactly. I, you, you you only seeing what I'm portraying online. I I could be this. I, exactly. I could be this. I could be this ass killer. I could be this murderer. I, I could be. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I could be. You know. I could be this weird person that's that's giving you that that's giving you Michael Myers vibes. You know what I'm saying? Sitting next exactly. to you on the truck. I look, explain just, that to people. You know, exactly. <laughs> yeah, staring at you like <sighs> that that uh that, yeah. that front I mean, of the they don't get that. that. They don't get that. I try to explain it to some people, especially the ones who be like, yo, I see you as my wife. I'm like, but you don't know me. Like I'll be watching all your videos, but you don't know me. Like right. <laughs> okay. So sometimes I just huh? You get you get that. What do you say? I say you get that ch -ch 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 vibe. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm like, you know what? I gotta go now. You know, like, and I, maybe this is just a message for some for males. If you decide you just want to jump in somebody's DM, maybe this might help you out a little bit. Maybe you should lead with a question, like yeah. or something that every other random person isn't doing. For me, like if you're just saying, hey, like. You can say, hey, under my comments, like on a video or something. But if you want to get like my attention, lead with something different and you probably will be more likely to get my attention. As I know for the few people who I've actually like stayed in contact with, because as a trucker, I think it's good to network with other truckers. I do. Um, but depending on the way you approach me and my DMs or just in general will determine whether or not I continue to converse with you or go further with you, like, as far as, like, getting your number or exchange or anything like that. But people who've gotten my attention want to might have asked a question or just said something different, but the ones just like, hey, hey, beautiful, you on a team? You're my wife in my mind. Like, that's weird. Right, right, man. Now you knew. <laughs> so. Now you knew in the building. <laughs> I just, so, I mean, I mean, you... You know, you being a single independent truck driver, female truck driver out here doing your damn thing, not bothering nobody. How how <laughs> how often do your DM just get filled up? Is it like filled up to the mats or what, what, what do you do? Not always. What do you do to swim through the number of guys that be hitting you up to, to figure out the right one that you want to network with? Um... It's my DMs are not always full because, it, as you can see, I don't always post. I go through moments where I post a lot and then I'll just stop. So, like, when I'm not posting for the most part, unless we already, like, converse with one another, they're not always. So, if I post a picture or if I post a video, then they'll start to fill up. Now, I'm one of those people I hate to see things undone. So, seeing messages inside of my DM irritates me to no end so i'll just open them up whether i decide that i'm going to like respond or not i just go in and open them up because i don't like seeing like unread messages like even in my emails i don't like seeing it so like i said if it's just someone saying hey 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 because you could say hey to me like on one, under one of my videos or one of my pictures but if while i'm opening it up just so the message will disappear 
they are asking me a question, like a genuine question or what seems to be genuine. Or, if, you know, it depends on the way that they, you know, approach. Like, if it catches my eye right away, um, then I'll probably respond. And then sometimes I see stuff and I've responded mentally, but I haven't actually physically done it. There we go. That's what's if up. If that man. answers the question, I don't know. Naya New, thank you very much for coming back on and uh, chopping it up with your guy. You guys know the best conversation starts over here at the Lockout Men Podcast Show. When we come up with something or topics or anything, that's what we do. We jump in and get it yes, out there sir, for yes. you. Have that's you what's up. Me? None. <laughs> No, and, and you know, to be honest with you, no, no, to be honest with you, me, if I do team, it got to be with soft legs. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, I can't team with no hard I legs. I get that. I get that. I can't, I can't team with no hard it legs. Makes sense. But I, I tell you one thing, though, if we're going to team, it's going to be about the money and it's going to be about the business. I'm not going to try and try exactly. and jump in your pants or anything like that. We're going to go out here and do what we need to do to make sure that we get the loads, I mean, loads safe and make sure that our checks is right and all like that. All that, exactly. other, all that other stuff off the truck, maybe, but when we're on the truck, we're all business. That's that's what it's going to be about. And that's another thing, too, because sometimes you really don't know what people's work ethic is. They can talk a lot of shit. Oh, but yeah. when it comes time for it to go down, it's just like, oh, you don't be putting in work like you said you put in work. Mm. And so sometimes people think like, oh, I'm just going to get me a team and it's going to be this, it's going to be that. Maybe it may not be. <laughs> it may not be. And mm -hmm. you know what? It's not sleeping on the truck when two be like when it's constantly moving is not. That's another reason why I won't team, because like I said, if I ever, I don't foresee me dating another trucker. I may, I don't know if I will, but <laughs> when I was with, <laughs> when I was with my ex, the only time I really could sleep is if he was, if the truck wasn't moving. So typically we would have to, but the truck was typically always moving because we was driving full shifts. And so it just was uncomfortable. So I was constantly waking up, constantly getting up front. And then when it was time for me to drive, I was usually tired, but I just do my whole shift. So. It's not it's it's not as ideal. Some people make it work, but for me it's a no. Well, you know, if I if I date a trucker, I'm I'm not going to uh, well, I have dated truckers. I, you know, I have dated female truckers, but it's not like, you know, we team drive or anything like that. My issue is like being the truck driver and 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 trying to date being that you mentioned that. It's kind of hard to like date uh a female because like a female trucker because you could be living in one state and then that other female be living in another state. And I said the only time that we can, I said the only time that we can really connect with each other is through the truck. Like, hey, babe, where are you going to be at? Oh, I'm going to be in Kentucky. Oh, I'm going to be right there in Ohio, so we can we can connect right there. <sighs> like when I go on my home time, when I go on my home time, yeah, when I go on my home time, I at least want to. You know, get with my, get with my woman when I'm on my home time. It's not like when I'm on my right. home time and you're you're driving in Florida, Texas, or wherever you at. I'm like I want to give I want to give with you like spontaneous. But you know, we always got to make up an arrangement to see each other, and I think that's where the problem is right there. Well, not for not not for many people, but just. For me, I guess. That definitely makes sense. But I would say for me, when I was with um, the other person, we were working for the same company. Okay. So we managed from time to time to be on the same route. And mm -hmm. like sometimes, like we might be on the phone, and we didn't even—we knew we were on the same interstate going in the opposite direction, but we didn't even realize that we were going to pass by each other. So there was still that spontaneity. Like it was still—I mean, it was fun for me. I think it was better us being on separate trucks, and we would take our home time together, and we would like kind of connect it. But we were still somewhat in the same lane. Like I remember one time I was driving one direction, they were driving the other. And they just happened to see that it was me because I had a pink blanket on my chair and they knew I had a pink blanket. They was like, yo, was that you? And I pulled over at the next truck stop. So to me, it, it kept it fun. It kept it spicy, you know. Mm. I didn't mark a couple of these, you know, mm. truck stops around here you know, when I was dating. And so for me, it made it fun. And I think Epson does make the heart grow fonder for that when y'all get together. Like, you know, 
it's fun. I don't know. That, but that's just me personally. But I, I get what you're saying where it's like everything has to be planned. And, you know, but I think you can make it work. We can, we can make it work. I, I know what's up. All right, Naya New, you take it easy. Stay safe out there. And we'll you get, too, sir. And, and we'll get together in another one. All right. Have a good one. Holler at you later. Big G's got it locked. Want you to make me all night, yeah, take me down Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound